Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another Tag Tuesday, this time with the Makeup Shopping Tag. This tag was created as a collab between Chic Geek and Portia Pans, two smaller YouTube channels that I personally really enjoy, and I saw them do this tag a couple of weeks ago, and I just loved the questions, and I thought this would just be a perfect tag to do. So I will link both of their YouTube channels down below, along with both of their Makeup Shopping Tags videos. This tag has 10 questions so let's go ahead and jump in. Question number one is where do you shop for makeup? So I shop a couple of different places. I shop for drugstore. It's mainly CVS and Walgreens. I, I really want to go to Walmart more often but our local Walmarts really suck. <laughs> and they never have anything in stock. I've been searching for this Physicians Formula like mini box set and literally no Walmart in my area has it in stock. So I don't really go to Walmart. I mainly stick for drugstore to CVS and Walgreens and then for higher end makeup I tend to stick to Sephora and Ulta. <music> Question number two is, what is your budget, high-end or drugstore? I tend to do a little bit of both. I can definitely buy more when it's drugstore priced, but I'm not against saving up a little bit or splurging on a higher-end product, uh, especially because I'm thinking of these products as things that are really going to last me a long time. My makeup collection grew rather fast because once I was able to actually start investing in products, they last a bit. And so my collection just grew and grew and grew. And I'm definitely learning more about what I like and what I don't like. And so that was just a long way of saying that I'm not opposed to both. I do need to cut down. I did buy a couple of like exorbitant palettes that weren't really worth it. So I'm not going to go out and buy another like gigantic Natasha Denona palette. And I'm not going to buy like a huge Pat McGrath palette. Like, nah. But I'm not opposed to spending either drugstore or high-end money. Question number three is, do you shop more online or in store? I definitely shop more online. I'm just more comfortable online and I feel like it's just easier for me, especially because I don't have a car. I can definitely, like, we take the trains here pretty much everywhere, so I can definitely get to stores that way, but it's just the convenience of it being online is just mwah. Here's, kind of ties into question number four. So question number four is, do you go makeup shopping with other people? I have in the past. I actually did a whole video vlog kind of thing where I went shopping with my best friend and then we did like a tipsy drunk makeup haul video, which was, <laughs> it was really too much fun, honestly. Like I would die to do that again. It was so much fun. So I'll link that video up in the cards if you missed it. It was from like a year ago. Um, but really, uh, people tend to get impatient when I'm looking at makeup because I like to take my time and like look at things. So when I'm shopping with like my family, I'll I'll not look at the makeup. I'll just breeze by it. And then they'd be like, oh, so don't you want to look at the makeup? But like the minute I go and look at the makeup, they're like, Monica, you're taking too long. Like, why can't we go do this? Why can't we go do that? I'm like, but either let me look at the makeup or let like, don't give me mouth when I don't look at the makeup. Like, <laughs> But I will say my best friend and my boyfriend are both super supportive. My boyfriend is actually, so he'll walk around and let me swatch on his arm too, if I run out of space to swatch. And he'll let me find um, shade matches in store because he's seriously the best. I have this one funny story where we were in Ulta and I was trying to shade match the um, Too Faced, the Tutti Frutti Dewy uh, foundation. And... Uh, <laughs> That foundation oxidizes like hell. So I was trying to go for a lighter shade because I knew it was going to oxidize. So we keep looking and I keep, I get up to the shade porcelain and it still looked a bit dark. And I was like, oh my God, it's dark. And he's like, yeah, you need the lightest shade. And the lightest shade I think was called snow or something. And I swatched that and it was like almost white on my skin. <laughs> and so I go to wipe off the swatch in the mirror. And it's one of those mirrors with two sides. So there's like a woman on this side looking in, taking something off. And I'm on this side, taking off the swatch. And I'm looking in the mirror doing this. And I'm like, babe, how pale do you think I am? And he goes, pale as shit. <laughs> and the woman next to me started cracking up. <laughs> but he's not wrong. Like, I've actually gotten very pale. But I tan at the drop of a hat. 
So I've already gotten my Tom's tan started, which if you don't know a Tom's tan, the Tom's shoes has like that cut off point. So half of my foot is really tan and the other half is pale as hell. Uh, <laughs> so I will say the only people that are supportive of me doing my long term like makeup consuming time shopping are my best friend and my boyfriend. Everyone else, I, I will not shop with pretty much anyone else. Question number five is, how do you talk yourself out of a purchase? So I've really gotten a lot better at realizing, you know, makeup products I do like and makeup products that I really want versus ones that I really want to bring into my collection versus ones that I just think are pretty. So I really think overall I've gotten better at deciding what to bring into my collection but when I need to talk myself out of something I will go through my collection and look at and swatch everything that's similar and after that I will go to the website put it in my cart look at the shipping look at everything and then close the window and if I still am thinking about it a couple of days later I'll go back and do the same thing look at it in my cart look at the shipping look at everything close the window if it's still in that cart and I still think of it two weeks later, then I'll think about getting it. But for the most part, that gets me out of a purchase because after that amount of time has passed, the hype has worn down and I don't really want it anymore. Question number six is what makeup product is your favorite to buy? And the obvious answer is eyeshadow palettes. I <laughs> I love eyeshadow. I love what I can do with eyeshadow. I there's so many different variations and different types of formulas and finishes and it's obviously the biggest part of my collection and it's my favorite aspect of makeup. Question number seven is what brand are you loyal to? Huh. I'm a bit confused about how I would interpret this question. Like, does it mean that I like every product of theirs or is it a brand I'll always try something new or give them the benefit of the doubt? I don't know if there's one particular brand that I think that way about. I would say I think the brands I'm definitely leaning more towards recently are ABH and Wet n Wild. Question number eight is what other things do you spend fun money on? Ooh, okay. So I definitely love to spend fun money on experiences. Uh, my boyfriend and I try to hang out every weekend. We have odd schedules. Um, I work Monday through Friday and he actually works uh, Monday through Thursday and then Sunday. So he has Friday and Saturday off while I have to work Friday. So the only full day we both have off is Saturday. So we try to do something together every Saturday. Um, we like to go out to dinner. We like to try and go see movies when we can. So that's where a decent amount of my fun money goes. Also, uh, books. I love books. I actually just went to a bookstore with him last weekend, picked up another couple of books. So I think outside of makeup, it's definitely experiences and books. <laughs> Question number nine is who influenced you to buy the most makeup? It's two YouTubers, honestly. So the first one is going to be a surprise if you know my channel, The Taylor. I honestly love her channel. I trust her reviews 100%. Even though we don't have the exact same skin tone or skin type, I do trust her reviews. And I bought a lot of videos based on her recommendations. I actually did a whole video like the Taylor made me buy it and she did watch the video and tweeted back at me that she liked the video and I was I was a little bit starstruck but uh so she's definitely number one number two was back when I still watched her channel Casey Holmes she actually convinced me to buy a lot of things uh mainly Natasha Denona it was because of what she thought about the sunset palette and a couple of the other palettes mainly the green brown palette that convinced me to buy those so I think those are the two main influences were the Taylor and Casey Holmes. And question number 10 is what was your last purchase? So the last purchase I actually made was because of an awesome friend on YouTube DM who mentioned that my favorite highlighter was on sale in a kit at Nordstrom and it's limited edition. I don't know when it's no longer going to be available. So I purchased the backup. So this is the Becca UK Passport to Glow set. It comes with the Royal Glow Highlighter, the Backlight Priming Filter, and then their Glow Gloss. Gloss. Glow Gloss. <laughs> um, I'm really glad I picked this up. It was only $25. I think the highlighter itself is worth more than that. So $25 highlighter, full-size highlighter, a deluxe of the primer, and a full-size of the lip gloss. So 
I really think this was worth it. I'm so glad that DM pointed out that deal to me because otherwise I, it would have gone off in my head. I had no idea. And that was available through Nordstrom with free shipping. So that is everything for this tag. This was a lot of fun. I love these like unique tag ideas. They really make you think about your makeup collection and your makeup buying habits. Again, I will have both of their channels, Portia Pants and Chic Geek linked down below. Make sure you check out their videos and their channels. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.